Hello there folks, this is your Uncle Troy. Uh, today we're trying a new game of Terraria, also known as Terraria, also known as 2D Minecraft. I received this as a gift for Christmas and have been waiting to try it out till I had uh, time to actually devote to it. And I think today is the day. And right now I'm just recording a little of the title screen here to make sure that I have uh, my video settings correct and that you all will have a video that you can actually watch. And if this works out, we'll start playing here in a minute. And if it doesn't work out, you'll never see this. So you'll never know. Uh, no, I've not made a character or anything. Is that necessary? Yep, although I guess you could hit the random button a few times. Um, but I don't want to bring the uh, server uh, or the game up before you uh, do that. That way you're ready to just join so that it won't be like nighttime by the time you get to join and we'll be inundated with zombies. Okay, so what, go under multiplayer and or single player to start a character? Uh, go to multiplayer, hit join, then it, it should be like create character or whatever, and then there's lots of different options and the like. Changing the hair, male, female, changing the color of different random things. Trying to remember your color wheel and how to make yellow or blue. I'm going for gray hair, I figured we'll be honest. You'll just have to pretend I dyed mine then. What I would really like is a top hat and a monocle. Now let me know when you're ready and I'll bring it up and then you can, should be able to just throw the IP in there and hopefully magically everything will work. If not, then I'm going to have to go play with settings. Okay, I think I've got the character uh, created and it's asking me for the server IP address, so I'm going to try that here in just a second. Alright, well I'm going to, uh, oops. I'll put a server password in there, and the server password will be... Okay, I'll have to remember to edit that out when I post this video. It won't matter, because if anyone... I mean, they won't know the IP address, so how the heck... It doesn't matter. Unless you blatantly put the IP up there or something. But then we would actually have to be playing when... Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can edit it. It's good. I'll probably just have a big black censored bar over the screen while I'm typing this then. Just for fun. Alright, give it a go and hopefully it'll work. Hey, I think we got something here. Hooray! It worked and I don't have to fiddle with a router. I think it's WASD and spacebar. And mouse clicks. And um, when it turns nighttime, zombies will try to eat our brains. Oh, just like real life. So I guess step one is make house to not get eaten by brain or zombies. Is there a way to replant the trees? Yeah, uh, sometimes they drop acorns, or at least they used to, and then you can put an acorn on dirt. Yeah, there's some acorns. Should be up, uh, like in your inventory up at the top, if you have any. And then if you hit escape, you have a bigger inventory. Yeah, I think I've already planted a couple of trees accidentally here. Also, if you hit escape, you can join the blue party, which means we won't kill each other on accident. Although I think PvP is turned off, or at least it is for me. Alrighty, well, I guess you would like to PvP. I don't remember there being a background like that before, so that's neat. Maybe that's something they've added, and I think I accidentally killed the tree you just planted. I was just trying to keep them planted because I heard that uh, it takes a lot longer to regrow than in Minecraft. Yeah, there's no like bone meal. At least not that I know of. I need to find a flat spot somewhere to start building a house or something. 
I guess we're in the mountains. This looks somewhat flat. Just a lot of trees. I killed my first slime. I think you need something from slimes to make torches. Hooray! Now we should be able to survive the night. I need a hammer. If I can remember. If you hit escape, you can, and you're more near this workbench that I built and put down here, you can create more things. And then later on, we'll make like other, like, I think like four and then there's some other things that you have to stand next to to create certain things. Okay, I made a zealous wooden hammer and I have no idea what it means. That must be something new. But you use hammers to get like the walls, like the background stuff. Hey, I made a torch. Is that a zombie coming? Looks like a zombie. He's trying to open the door. I used a character that I already made and deleted all the stuff out of his inventory, but I forget that you don't start with swords anymore. You start with like wooden short swords. So I got a tiny bit better sword at the moment. But you should have enough wood from cutting all those trees. You can make one of these at the crafting table. And unfortunately, you can't hit people through doors. Well, I figured it was just worth trying. Oh, um, if we put like a table and a chair, I think, inside this little building we've made, then we can get the guide guy, and you can like click on him for help. If you join the blue team, um, when we're off screen, you'll be able to see like how far the other person is away. Okay, how do we join the team again? I uh, hit escape, and it's over where you uh, hit that PVP thing. I don't know what that little house does. I'm gonna click it. Ooh, housing. Housing query. Zach the guide. Housing query. I'm gonna click on you now. This housing is missing a chair. Huh, that's new to me. I'm gonna click on the guide thing. This house is missing a chair. Okay, so that's interesting. I've done this before. Yeah, so now you can see like the other person's uh, health and all that. And sometimes uh, shooting, or at least they used to, shooting stars would fall out of the sky and you get shooting stars and use those to make things. I don't know, it was something with the mana. It has been a long time since I've played. Hmm, I guess I don't have enough wood to make a table. How do I give you wood? Because I got plenty. Let's see, I think if you, um... Highlight it on your top bar and hit Q, I think you drop all of it. Or... Something. I don't know. Uh-oh. Usually 
You gave me Copper Short Sword. If you don't mind, I probably need that back. Okay, apparently now you right click and it throws stuff out of your inventory. I think you have the workbench too. Alright, so the guide with necessary requirements for the guide to show up, but I think we have to wait till morning. It is a hasty shackle, and you can like put it in your uh, inventory somewhere. Yeah, there you go. And like equip it. So now I run a tiny bit faster, it looks like. We need to go explore, but these dang zombies just keep getting in the way. Of course, it's almost daytime, too. I think that was a mistake. Oh, lordy. <laughs> yeah, you need to warn me next time. I didn't think it would be uh, such a big problem, but uh, I don't know if they've changed the game mechanics, but I uh, couldn't keep them knocked back. Ooh, it's raining. Okay, why do you have that big overhand and I just got this little jab? Come over here next to the table and see if you can make a sword called a sword. It requires seven wood to make. I'm sorry, what type of sword? It should just say like wooden sword, not short sword. Okay, there we go. It's a little slower, but I think it does more damage. Well, just being able to hit something that's not right in front of me will be a tremendous help. Shall we go find a cave and look for some metal? Yeah, that sounds like a plan. We have a way to make a chest or something to leave some of this behind so when we die we don't lose it. Uh, maybe. Let's go see if I can make one. It's not on my list of things to make, so we're missing something. I don't know what it is. Maybe it requires some iron or stone or something. I think there was a cave over here to the right. We'll probably find a chest that we can bring back. How many torches should I bring? Well, torches you can make on the fly, I'm pretty sure. So as long as we have wood and little gels, we should be able to keep making them. Alrighty then. I've got 36. Yeah, if you hit Q, you throw one item, it looks like. Like, if you select it and then hit Q. And you can, like, throw torches and they'll stay lit, so you can throw them and see where they go. Like so. But if you move near it, you'll pick it back up. Oh, it looks like there's some copper underneath you there. Actually, iron ore. Even better. Oh, here's some copper over here. You can make, like, copper picks and swords. Like, up, keep upgrading your pick, like the material the pick's made out of, and the picks do go a lot faster. And I think they have better range, too. I started out with copper, looks like. Oh, well... Do you have a hammer yet? No, I don't. Need hammers to break, like, uh, the background, and also if we find, like, hearts, you can break a heart thingy and get a item that, like, increases your max health. And I think, I don't think there's any shovels, everything you use is, like, a pick. 
You can make things out of wood called wood platforms. Here, I'm making some right now, I'll show you. And you can jump on them, and then like hit down to go down through them. Neat. They can help you get to some other areas too, but after, in a little while, or whenever, we'll get like, um, chains and shackles, and you can use them to make the, uh, like little grappling hook kind of deals. Not shackles, hooks. Like grappling hooks? Yeah, like grappling hooks. But you have to make, use chain, which we make from iron, and we gotta get hooks, which I think, like, drop and skeletons are on further down somewhere. We'll find caves or something sooner or later. Okay, this music has got to go. <laughs> it's driving you insane? <laughs> oh, I see some sort of light or something down here. Speaking of cave. Be careful if you jump down. Okay, how do you adjust the music? You know, I don't know. Let's see. No clue! You might have to exit. <laughs> like, go to the main menu here. Let me see if uh, there's something on the Googles. Yeah, it looks like you have to do it, like, at the main menu screen. So you'd have to disconnect and then come back. You don't like crazy people music? It's very cheerful, but also very, very repetitive. Yeah, it, it does change, like, uh, when you get to different zones and stuff like that. Okay, and I came back up here on the surface, so I'll be back with you in a minute. Got a worm trying to kill me. What the heck? It was like a trap or something. It just poisoned me, and now I am slowly dying. Yeah, like that. my dead corpse headstone thing. By the way, did you put it on soft core, medium core, or hard core? I think soft core. That's what I did too. I've tried medium core before and all that did was frustrate me when I died all the time and lost my cool stuff. poison dart thing, too. Yeah, I got by it, but it was that worm that got me. I have never seen one of those poison dart things before, and it's pissing me off. I think I need to somehow get up to it and destroy it. Alright, it is now dead. Yay! Did you find a chest? I think so. Let's see, aglet, shurikens, shine potion, and some silver coins. No fancy uh, magic items or whatever? I think if you use the hammer, oh, do you have a hammer yet? Uh, no, never got a hammer. I'll, I'll hit it then. 
We can take the chest back up to the house. Or mine all this copper underneath your headstone here. Well, apparently I can take your tombstone. Like if I mine the bottom and you mine the top and we both mine the middle, we can like super mine and go like real quick. Oh, there's a cave. But I'm gonna mine down a little bit. I think I see copper or something down there. Oops, slime sneaking up on us. Let's see if I can take him. Uh, that one's a little more dangerous than the uh, previous slimes. Slime coming up on us. Let's see if you can take him. Whoops. That didn't work out. Never mind. Hey you. How dangerous is water? It's fine until you drown. Water can be dangerous. If you don't see the bottom of the water, then be careful about jumping into it because getting back out can be, you can't swim. You have to like climb your way out. Unless they change something. You didn't use them anyway. It was a relatively shallow pool, so I just drained it out below us somewhere. I'm gonna see if I can deal with this slime. He only half killed me. I think I hear a worm somewhere. Ah, uh, health potions. Yeah, have you found any yet? I've got one extra I can give you. I found a couple and a mushroom, I think. There's some sand over here. Sand is very dangerous in this game. One of the deadliest weapons. So the secret of fighting worms is to wait for them to attack somebody else and then attack his tail? I find the secret is just to be able to hit them. And for some odd reason, torches don't work underwater. Oh, looks like there might be some iron over here. I can see some more light down below us. I think if we... Uh, Go back up and around. There was a way down there. Ooh, it's like a jellyfish of some sort that's glowing. Oh, there's like silver. There's like some ores over here. I'm trying to drain some of this water out. Did you get it all? I think so. Several pieces of silver. Let's see if we can get over here to the left. I don't like how holding the uh, shift key does not make you keep jumping. Say what? Oh, did you change jump to space or whatever? Or oh, yeah. Jump or whatever. Yeah, I meant to say the space bar. Hit the space bar, I just jump once and then I stop, but I'm used to holding it down and jumping all the time. Hey, he's not in the water anymore. Ooh, glow sticks. 
Glow sticks are fun. And they work underwater, too. Get this hopper, and I think I'll drain this lake out or whatever. I am out of wood. No more wood platforms. You know, I head back up to this. Uh oh. We got him surrounded. My eyes! Ouch. I've got like a hundred wood. Let me see if I can remember how to throw it to you. I think a right click did, did last time. Did you get that wood, or do I, do I need to try again? I got it. Um, when you're crafting things, if you right-click and hold, it like... What's the word I'm looking for? Makes a lot of them. As long as you're holding it down. There's some more ore down here. fell from the sky and landed on top of my face. Yeah, I was just sitting there and all of a sudden everything went dark. Are you still there? Or are you still on the blue team? Oh, you probably left the blue team when you quit. Now I can see you. Yeah, I guess there's a boulder trap or something that came from above. Okay, whatever a hunter potion is, I've got one now. You want to head back up to the surface and consolidate and build whatever we can build and mainly get more wood, too. Alrighty, you know the way. Up. That torch keeps going out. What is up with that? Good thing I put all these platforms here. Remember, we put all the torches on the left side of the wall. Oh, you're funny. Get him! That rabbit was eyeing me funny. Now, is that one of those dangerous meat-eating rabbits, or is that just a rabbit? I think he eats grass. Um, the guide guy is here, finally. If you right-click on him, he tells you helpful things. And also, generally gets in the way. And, um, if he's like he used to be, he'll open the doors and let the zombies in. And he says, I'm helping, I'm helping! <laughs> Someone else doesn't like rabbit. Oh, and you can, like, talk to him and, uh, Say you've got a ton of iron, you have no idea what you can do with it. You place the, you've got a little block, you can talk to him and say, place material here, show recipes, and you put iron there. And say, oh, you can make iron somethings if you have so and so. I assume it's better just to click wildly than just stand there. At least until we find other things that are much harder to kill. Ooh, Tiki Torch. Thought I could make a forge. I don't know how to make a forge. 
Oh, I need wooden torches. That's what I'm missing. So I need one more torch and I can build a furnace. Go get that shooting star. I'm trying. If you uh, get ten of those, you can use them to make an item that gives you uh, increases your mana amount. And right now we have zero. I can make a forge, but we don't have enough room to put it in here. We need to make like a basement forage area or something. Everything's fine until they sneak through and hit you and knock you 10 feet away in the other direction. It's dark out there. There, there's an anvil. It allows you to make, um, ooh, a vase, um, things out of metal. So if you'd go over to the furnace here and you get your copper and iron bars and such, and then you can go over to the, uh, the anvil over here and then you can make, like, a copper pickaxe or hammer or whatever. I shall make a sword, a copper sword. Oh, you can also make armor and stuff too. <laughs> like copper, copper armor. And if I remember correctly, uh, armor doesn't degrade like it does in Minecraft. Now I have a copper sword. Oh, I've got a shackle for you here. If you take that and then you can click on it and put it over to like on the right side, it says equip and drag it down to your accessories area, it'll add one to your defense. Okay, thank you. Alright, if you're ready, I'm gonna disconnect, or kill it and disconnect. Well, I see a fallen star over here, let me grab that real quick. Oh, 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 it's daytime, it went away. Ah. Ah, oh, they changed it so the guide doesn't open the doors in the middle of the night, but now he's going off and wandering around during the day. That is definitely a good change. One of my friends at work that plays, uh, he just took the guide and then trapped him in like a little basement room and locked him up so that he could never get out. Ha <laughs> ha. Which is what I was planning to do with this guy, but... It looks like he doesn't open the doors during the night anymore, so he's a million times not stupid as he used to be.